Hello everyone, this is Captain Thief again, uh, with more desktop dungeons. Uh, unfortunately I clicked on the tavern or something, and now it's opening the second generation quest. Some of the more veteran adventurers are starting to call our kingdom home, but now is not the time to let them rest on their laurels. More sinister creatures have started moving into nearby dungeons, and we need to call upon heroic expertise to hold them off. Defeat the den of danger with every second to your Ah, that again. Okay. Um... Yeah, I was trying to close it before I could read that, but whatever. Anyway, do you think that if I amass enough gold that I could buy an orange Julius? Because I could really go for one of those about now. Uh, I've got, I got, I've got money. I really should do something with it. And I'm thinking between halflings and gnomes. You know, I could also upgrade the thief den again. But you know, we got to be a little more fair about how this goes. Um, would it be such a bad idea? To maybe upgrade one of our job giving um, or you know profession giving areas like the guild no it wouldn't you know locker slots adds three locker slots to this building items can be carried out of a dungeon and stored inside the locker for a fee allowing you to save for a future session totally and a berserker um that's a lot to read i'll just upgrade this already hmm, cool it made my city walls go up a little bit bigger it looked like wraith most honored kingdom administrator, your recent expansion of the local adventurers guild will all successful demolish the nearby graveyard to make room for the beer hall. Now the local dungeon authority rep reports a growing population of angry wraiths trickling into outlying monster dens. They seem to be draining the magical power of adventurers in an attempt to annoy their living crap out of everyone. Well, whoops, I didn't mean to mess it up like that. I'm sorry. Uh, you know. They'll get over it. Let's unlock gnomes while we're at it. This tiny, this tiny community of gnomes seems to have sprung up almost overnight. A very small business, a few small businesses have already been set up. Upgrading this building will allow you to recruit gnomes for you know, gain more mana potions from item conversion. Okay, let's do that. You know that's not too bad. Um, puzzle unlocked. Hello gnomes. Later. Well, hello gnomes. Later. Let's let's see. I'm thinking. That, you know, I upgraded the guild. I really should be looking at learning how to fight her better. So let's see. Gorgons have broken into the kingdom's petting zoo, spreading madness and petrification. Fight your way through the enraged goats and put on an end, an end to the Gorgon leader. Okay. It'll give me 150 gold. Sure, I'll do that. And I don't have to be human. But mana potions aren't really a warrior's forte. Uh, maximum mana is not a warrior's forte. Um, one max health bonus, that's not a lot. If it were like plus 10%, that would be actually a little broken, but you know. Let's go with human, I know, I suck. Um, I can take a spoon. Why wouldn't I take a spoon? Oh, I can't, it's not letting me take anything, because this is a challenge. Later, later. And why is it a spoon and, you know, just never mind. Never mind everything, especially my face. Okay, so I just gotta kill goats. Okay. Sure. Um, that's good to know, you know. Goats. Level up. Okay, there has to be a trick to this. Uh, I'm starting to worry. Um, because, I mean, Pendant of Mana, do I, I have one to fight and I'm a wall. Okay, so I, I guess I'm going to need to actually spam one to fight and stuff. Just so I can get these crude guys down here. Yes. Um. Not gonna turn to stone. Nope. Okay, cool. If they were one shotable, though, that would make the difference. That would make quite a difference. Oh, let's go ahead and kill that thing. Finish it off. One shot you, more EXP. Yep, yep, yep. Let's, uh, let's wanna fight some more. That, that was fun. I enjoyed it. Why is it wanna fighting things equal to my level? That sucks. I think I'm seeing the pattern though. It's teaching me about warrior and how wanna fight works, I guess. Um I can two shot you. So you know I'll do that. Now I'll uncover some more darkness. And uh let's wanna fight again, just so I know for sure. Okay, no, it's random. It's random. I was thinking there for a minute that it wasn't random. That was getting me, you know, equal level mobs, but that is not the case. Why didn't that level... Oh, because I'm an idiot, that's why. Um, we'll want to fight. 
Yeah. Then we'll level up. And then we'll want to fight some more. It's not making your case all that great, though, because it's giving me level 4s again. Okay, uh, it's, it's fine. Uncover the gold. Um, I think I mostly want to just level off of these Gorgons as far as I can, I guess. And let's want to fight again. Yeah. And then I can get these goats and get even more EXP out of them. Yes. Uh, barely alive. Okay. Wait. They have death gaze. Why isn't that? Oh, you know what? Just, just forget everything. It might have something to do with my death protection. Okay, the balanced dagger. Okay, so I didn't unlock the balanced dagger to take with me. I unlocked it to buy from a store. You can bet your bippy I'm gonna buy that. Yes, I probably just doomed my uh, doomed myself to fail, but you know we'll see. We'll see how this goes, huh? Lots of EXP has always been a good idea. Always, always. Wanna fight? Wanna fight? I'm gonna lock myself in here with a bunch of goats if I don't watch it. Ah, uh, why wouldn't I pick that up? Um, right here. I guess we'll start a, a wanna fight petting zoo over here. Yeah, sure. I'm not really sure if I want to, uh, you know, have a whole bunch of level ones around anyway, but you know, it, it worked for me last time, right? So, do you think I've gotten better with Warrior? It feels like I have. It really does, but. You know, I think I'm still a babe lost in the woods when it comes to this game. So, you know, no need to... Okay, just another level one. Another level one. I'm actually looking for level fours now, guy. Guys. Not all these level ones. In fact, I actually kind of want to spend some of my health that I'm getting... F you gotta be kidding me. Uh, okay. Fine. Here we go, level fives. Okay, I see. So, I want to fight. Summons existing, blah, blah, blah. Okay, it doesn't really say it, but I think what it means is that it's going to summon a mob that is about my level first and foremost, and then after that, it will start bringing in low level mobs. Yeah? I think so. Don't tell me I'm not right. Um, okay, so there's only two level fives, it appears. So, you know, we'll, we'll be careful about that, but maybe we'll just keep wanna fighting. And... Just be careful not to level up just yet. Okay. Can I two-shot you? Not yet. I need a little more darkness. That'll do. Okay. Well... Oh. I should be using this as well while I'm at it. Oh, well. Um... Who do I want to turn to stone? Probably not one of the dizzy goats. So make it one of the non dizzy goats and I don't okay well yeah it's okay everything's good at least I didn't waste my mana okay um wanna fight and wanna fight yeah two level sixes okay I have figured this game out guys I know it's tricks and I know it's trades and it trades a lot on Scott trade okay no no advertisements like that I'm sorry um I'm a wall again you can I two-shot you? Please tell me I can. Okay, I can, but it's two-shotting me. I need more health. And that's just the pendant of mana. Oh, uh, this is not ending well for me. Um. Um. There's a whole lot of um going on. I need to find another store. Hopefully something that will get me more mana. Because this is not really working. I don't want to use my potions yet. Who knows what I'm going to find down here. Ah, I knew. Okay. Physical resistance. This shield has never been anywhere near a tower, but it still adds 10% physical resistance. Tower shield. That's funny. That's funny. I've actually heard that the heater shield is not something that would be called a heater shield back in the media era because there were no heaters back then. You know, like the things you iron your clothes with. It's just that because of a... Uh, what do you even call that? One of those things that we do. Anyway, can I two-shot you now? Yes, but still two-shotting me. I'm only being saved by death protection. So sad. Okay. If we can find another store that uh, that pendant of health might have done it. That pendant of health would have done it. That pendant of health. Okay. Well, in any case, 
Um, I'm going to need to actually use potions, I think. I mean, nothing else I can do does damage. So, you know, that's going to have to be how it goes. Um, I can then use, you know, some of this darkness to not only replenish my health, but also to uh, do awesome things with. Maybe the correct answer is I need to use one of fight, and then maybe it'll summon the Scorgon, because it's, you know, it's my level. Yeah? Okay. I should have thought about that first. Okay. Well, you are no better than a level 1 sheep, so I'm going to, you know, turn you into stone, too. And now, with my remaining health, or magic, I uh, want to fight. Yes! Yes! I figured it out. Okay. Sweet deal. Okay. I, I'm still probably going to lose, because these things almost always come down to the wire. Okay. I'm not two-shotting. In fact, I'm three-shotting you. And you're two-shotting me. Aw. Oh. I need more gold, but I don't have anything to break these statues with. I can see gold underneath them. I don't know when it came there, but, you know. Oh, thanks. Um, yeah. Let's see. Maybe. Maybe. I still feel kind of bad, because I wasted that one potion. And now I'm wasting a whole bunch of darkness squares. Um. Hmm. How much do I get for recycling? Not enough. How much do I get? I'm not going to recycle that. I want this, darn it. Why can't I get nine more gold, huh? Huh? Oh, okay, here we go. Seven more health. Will that do it? Um, 42, 42. Okay, if I had a little more health. Just a little more. You know, ten would definitely do it, but, you know. Okay. I'm just going to use up all of this darkness because I'm an idiot. Um... Maybe instead of that, I'll just you know want to fight some of these guys down here. I don't know. At least I'll get some exp. Okay, there we go. There we go. Want to fight? Okay. Eh, couldn't hurt. Okay. Gorgons, you're gonna get it now. Oh, I still can't two shot you yet. But here's what I can do. I can smack you around, then smack you around, and then want to fight. <laughs> And then kill you. Oh, I should have turned someone to stone. Um, yeah, I better have four mana for the next time I go three rounds with a Gorgon, alright? But that's okay, you know, I, I, I have this kind of sort of figured out. Kind of sort of. Um, one brick of darkness? Yeah, thanks. Okay, so I'll smack you. And then smack you. And then want to fight, but... But, I need to stone one of these sheeps. Yes. Yes, sirree. Okay. And then finish you off. Level up. Yay for that. Okay. Let's summon the next... Oh. Be a deer and strike a dashing pose, would you? I can start work on a heroic-looking statue for you as soon as I get the hair out of my eyes. Yes, I know. I really ought to tie it back. Regards, Medusa. Okay, what are you looking like? Oh. You mana burn me, do you? And you death gaze me at 100%? I still don't know what that means. I'm guessing I need to level up like all the way and maybe one shot it. I don't think I can one shot it. Let's stop pipe dreaming and um, start getting back to work. Let's try one of fighting. Nope, there's nothing but level one sheeps left. Oh, this is bad. Um, and I, I guess I pulled her away from here ish. Okay, so, it just says I'll be mana burned, but it doesn't say anything about me being dead. Um, I'm thinking about it. I really, really am. I, I still don't know what death gaze 100% means, but maybe when it slowed. Okay, they went all my mana. Uh-huh. Uh, maybe if I just keep drinking. I'll, okay, it still says barely alive. Um. Hmm. 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 How much am I getting? 3, 7, 10. That's 30 EXP. If I can get 3 more EXP, that'll make all of this worth it. Oh, wait. Here we, oh, I would heal her up. Oh, that. I'm an idiot. Okay, that's fine. Um. So, as long as I have 100%. 
HP, I'll be okay. Right? Right. So, let's drink a potion. Maybe two. And, um, let's kill all of these guys. Just so we can, you know, not summon them by accident. And now use... Oh, I leveled up. Okay. So that'll help with that. I'm guessing I just need to kill her. And, you know, I'm going to barely win, so I'll just do that. Thanks. This wasn't so hard. Oh, and there was an attack up. Uh, let's explore the rest of it, even though that's probably going to get me killed or something. Uh, what was I coming down here for? I was coming here to slay Gorgons? Um, okay. Uh, that's, that's cool. And now we have a, a petting zoo with a bunch of statues. I'm the real Gorgon here. Uh, do I really feel like buying something so I can store it in the locker later? I'm thinking about this pendant of health. So yeah, I'll do that and store it in the thing. Yes! Hoarder! Um, didn't convert any items, purist, specialist, and uh, yeah, okay, cool. Very awesome. I, I'm guessing that was totally worth it. Greetings, compulsive and hordesome kingdom administrator. If your adventurers ever feel the urge to stash some particularly interesting loot after a dungeon run, you should take advantage of the guild adventuring locker. Select the building now. Okay. Locker slots function like any other dungeon preparations, but you'll have to fill them up with goods first. Hover over the locker panel to see the equipment you brought back from the last dungeon. Click and drag to move something into the locker. Okay. Um, I have a spoon. I have a balanced dagger. Okay, let's see. This is a locker slot. When you have items available to put in the locker, mark blah, 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 blah. Beware if you destroy a locker item while in the dungeon, you'll be charged a reclaim fee before you can use it again. Ooh, songs will be sung of this click drag effort, dexterous administrator. This item will stay in the locker until you re re you're ready to use it for another dungeon run. It costs money to equip locker items just like any other preparations. If you're unsatisfied with locker choice, you can always replace it with something else. Okay. Bleed it. The trouble has passed and the locals are grateful. This goes to show that just about any problem can be solved if you hit it with a big enough sword. Petting zoo crisis included. 150 gold, yeah! Okay, now what would I want? 10% physical resistance or plus 10 health? <laughs> plus 10 health. It's just so much better. Actually, at higher levels, I think the physical resistance, I don't know. But, um, I hope I'm making the right choices here. I didn't really want this spoon, but, you know, I'll take it. Cool. Well, that's that. You know, I'm going to get researching on how to make this orange Julius in this kingdom, but until then... Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.